to you by Carlisle Law Firm, working hard for hardworking people. Nice win it. Pass tipped into the neutral zone here. Bob up and out to his right. Right to the home whites. Long pass ahead. Onside for Martino. And Romano. Martino to his left for a shot. And a goal! It went through a leg. And may have hit a player. Hurley! I believe we'll get the goal. Maybe Romano will see the Knights take a 1-0 lead. I believe it's Clarkson's Brian Hurley who's going to get the goal credited for that. And a bit of a funky bounce there. It goes right between the legs of Carter Guylander. Hurley flips his wrist, giving a little basketball celebration. And he's put the Knights up 1-0. Martino that brought it in a great job by Martino to control the puck a very hard pass through center almost lost it in the skates of Romano as Romano ran right into him Martino able to get the pass off Hurley buries the shot it'll be Hurley from Martino wait and possess left wing side brought back by Ben Raymond right point for Bergsland Bergsland towards the net and reaching his level around Caldwell to make the play say out it comes now for Anderson and Lund on side for the Raider, breaking towards goal. A shot, save me! On the glove side on DePaulo by Ethan Heider for the Knights. Going at three, and he will take the hard hit behind his net. Raiders still possessed, all over by Sekos. Now shot towards Raider for a shot. Oh, what a save by Heider. Rebound goes into the rebound. Lund stoned by Heider the first chance, but. He scores with his own rebound. Tying the game at one. The Raiders deserve that goal. Yeah, a bit of a defensive breakdown there from the Golden Knights. Three guys stuck down behind the goal line and it left Pearson Brandon wide open at the right point, able to find Griffin Lund down and Ethan Hyder with an exceptional save. Five flip in on side for Underwood. Underwood for the Knights. Ahead for George Grant. but back along for Mobley. Mobley along for McFall with speed. They got four. Campbell on side high slot. Campbell towards the net. Shoots. Scores! Alex Campbell. Oh, a wrister from the circle. Here's the Knights. A 2-1 to one lead with 2.15 to go in period number two. And Mobley drew some attention from the Colgate defense as Campbell brought it in down the right wing. Mobley was sitting right behind him with a raised stick calling for the puck. Campbell opted not to pass. Shot it himself right over the left corner. And the left shoulder of Carter Guylander. Back in the lead and a big shift in momentum after the penalty kill. It was all Colgate for a little while in the middle section of this period. And now Clarkson back on top thanks to number 11, Alex Campbell. Some numbers now bringing it ahead is Verbone. He's tied up now in front. Now takes the first shot and a rapid attempt. Shot save. Rebound knocked away by Hurley from the net front. Right point. He got a shot. Oh, what a stop by the goaltender. And it almost got through. Hyder. Gets the glove behind him to make the final stop, and what a series of saves from Ethan Heider. And right point, Alex Young, high slot, shot towards goal, blocked out. Again, a pass across, knocked down by the Knights. Loose puck cleared away by Sekos to the line, off the glass, and that'll do it. Down the ice it rolls, icing waved off. The Knights will win their fifth of seven. They're 5-0-2 in their last seven games, and they hang on for a big league win, 2-1 to one over the Raiders of Colgate. Hurley in the first, Campbell answering a Lund goal in the second. And the Knights come up with a victory. Left side, Coach Howji. Coach, well fought battle, and you guys came out on top, but you guys ended up shorthanded quite a bit. Walk us through your thoughts on the game tonight. Well, I thought it was like it's a tough game in the ECAC. Every night's going to be a battle. Um, they're a really good hockey team, and you know we found a way to, to make some good defensive plays there at the end, but um, <laughs> still got to tighten a few things up, but um, a few too many rushes. But overall, I thought it was a solid effort by us. Another big night for Hyde's in net. How has his play boosted the morale of the team in, in the last few weeks? On a win, win, uh, and he's been a big part of that. Talk about his play. Well, he, he, right now he's outstanding. I mean, every night he gives us a chance. You know, even when we make a mistake, he's there to bail us out. So um, when you have a goaltender like that, every defense. Looking forward to tomorrow's matchup, probably other than QPAC, the biggest circle on the schedule here at home. What are you going to expect from that game, and what has to be different, what has to be the same for that to come away with a win there? I mean, it's going to be everything you, you know, it, love out of college hockey. It's two teams really don't like each other. We've had some pretty big games in the past. It's going to be intense. It's going to be physical, and there's going to be a lot of skill. So it's going to be a, a great game. 
Alex, thank you for the time. Congrats on the win. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much. We'll be back with Alex Campbell after the picture here. And once they take their photo with the Hockey Fights Cancer, for everybody tuning in, it's still not too late to donate. You can go online to the link on the Clarkson Hockey social medias and donate to fight for those who can't. Winning two to one. Getting the photo taken here now. Standing by with Alice Campbell, who had the game winning goal tonight for the Golden Knights. Thanks, Bob. Now with Alex Campbell. Alex, game winning goal tonight and a big one that boosted the team to the two to one victory. Walk us through the moment and how it pushed you guys ahead. Yeah, I mean, it was a great breakout play and I kind of came down on the right side. And I had all three guys open, wasn't too, too sure what to pick, but uh, luckily the puck found the back of the net, so. Good decision there and <laughs> could have passed it to anyone, as you mentioned. Now looking forward to tomorrow, you guys got Cornell. How are you going to use this momentum to keep the team going and continue the streak that you guys are on? Yeah, I think it's really important just to kind of celebrate now and then as soon as we leave the rink, just refocus on tomorrow because uh, it's the only important. Finally, Hockey Fights Cancer Night, the support that the fans came out. Give us your thoughts on that and uh, one last not one last thing before you go here. Yeah, no, that was, that was unbelievable seeing everyone here and uh, seeing how, uh, how it impacts everyone uh, cancer and how um, uh, we're so grateful that everyone's here and supporting it, and uh, it was awesome. Alex, congrats on the win. We'll see you tomorrow. Sweet. Thanks, Casey. Back up to you, Bob.